Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Ambitious Design. Do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel Ambitious Design. Also press the bell icon for the further updates. So today we are going to study about the chapter Portrait of the Lady. This whole chapter was written by Kushwan Singh. And this is a chapter of class 11th book Han. You can see here the picture of Kushwan Singh. Let us know about Kushwan Singh first. Actually, Kushwan Singh was born as Kushal Singh on 2nd February 1915. He died on 20 March 2014. Kushwan Singh was an Indian novelist, lawyer, journalist and a politician. Born and raised in Haldai, Punjab, which is now presently present in Pakistan. He studied law at St. Stephen's College, Delhi and King's College, London. After working as a lawyer in Lahore Court for eight years, he joined the Indian Foreign Services upon the independence of India from British Empire in 1947. He was appointed journalist in All Indian Radio in 1950 and then moved to the Department of Mass Communication of UNESCO at Paris in 1956. The last two careers encouraged him to pursue a literary career. He is comprised of social and behavioral characteristics of Westerns and Indians are listed with a He served as an editor of several literacy and news magazines as well as two newspapers through the 1970s and 1980s. Between 1980s to 1986, he served as a member of parliament in Rajya Sabha, the upper house of parliament of India. Kushwan Singh was decorated with Padma Bhushan in 1974, but he returned the award in 1984 in protest against Operation Blue Star, in which the Indian Army raided Amritsar. Now, let us move towards the summary of the chapter. This whole chapter was written by Kushwan Singh about the appearance and the characteristics of his grandmother. Appearance of grandmother. The author recalls his grandmother as a very old lady with a wrinkled face. She appears so old that it was hard for him to believe that she had once been young and pretty. She was short. Fat and little, stupid in appearance, stooped in appearance. The author remembers his, her moving about in house in spotless white clothes, counting the beads of her rosary, while her lips moved constantly in a silent prayer, which is inaudible. Uh, she was on pretty in the traditional sense, yet her serenity he made her beautiful. Initial years of togetherness, life in village. In the initial years of her life, his life, the author lived with his grandmother in the village, sharing a good friendship. His grandmother used to wake up him in the morning and get at him ready for the school. She would hand over to him the things he required in the school. After eating thick stale chapatis, with butter and sugar for breakfast they used to live for the school. The author, grandmother, always accompanied him to school as it was attached to the temple. It was her habit to carry several stale chapatis for the village dogs, which they used to feed while returning from the school. The grandmother used to sit inside the temple reading holy books while the narrator learned alphabets and players in the school. Suddenly, a turning point of their friendship, life in the city. The turning point of their friendship came when they moved to the city to stay with their author parents. Through this year, the same room. His mother, no, his grandmother no longer accompanied him to the school since the author started going school by bus. As years rolled by, they saw less of each other. Meanwhile, 
as there were no dogs in the street, she took to feeding the sparrows. Unlike the village school, the author was not taught about God and scriptures, which troubled his grandmother. She did not believe in what was being taught at his school and was unhappy as she couldn't help him with the lessons. Moreover, she was disturbed. at the idea of music lessons being given at school as she considered music to be unsuitable for gentle folk her disapproval was conspicuous in her silence the grandmother compacts her loneliness by feeding the sparrows when the author started going to university he was given a room of his own the result in a further gap between them she accepted her loneliness and really spoke to anyone all the day long she sat spinning the wheel and reciting her prayers she related for a short time only in the afternoon to feed the sparrows who came in large number the bond of the bond and level of comfort they shared with her in is evidence and in the fact that they appreciated even on her legs and hand she used to be at the happiest self while feeding the sparrows author leaves for higher studies the author decided to go abroad for the further studies he was sure that his grandmother would be upset at his departure on the contrary she came to the railway station to see him of but did not show any emotion she was absorbed in her prayer telling the beads of the rosary she silently kissed the author for for hat which the author considered to be supposed the last sign of her physical contact author home coming on his return after 5 years the author did not find any change in his grandmother she was an old as ever as remained absorbed in her prayer even that day the happiest moment for her was feeding the sparrows in the evening for the first time ever she didn't she collected several ladies of neighborhood and sang songs related to the homecoming of the warrior she had to be persuaded to stop singing in order to avoid overstraining however the next day she was taken ill grandmother's death through diagnosed with a mild fever by the doctor grandmother knew that her end was near she decided to spend the last few hours of her life reciting prayer and telling her beads soon her lips stopped moving and she died a silent tribute by the sparrows the family went to make an arrangement for the grandmother fee as they come with the stretcher they stop mid away to find thousands of sparrow scattered around her dead body the sparrow mourned the death of the grandmother in a utter silence they ignored the bread crumbs threw at them the author's mother and flew away silently after the body was carried away for the cremation the bread crumbs were swept away by the sweeper next morning so this is all about the chapter portrait of the lady hope you will you like this video so do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel and wish us you sign on at last i want to tell you that this whole video was made by me my name is amuksha khatri i am a student of class 11 student of class chabildar chaudhary chabildar public school i used my microsoft powerpoint for making this whole video Thank you and have a nice day.